Hey y'all, hey. So welcome back to Tommy Bikes TV and Homestead. <laughs> Welcome you here if you are new. Make sure you like the video before we get started. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications and feel free to share it out. Also leave me a comments down below and let me know of some things that you are doing to prepare for your three to six month food pantry in your home. So right now I'm outside of Aldi and I'm not a big Aldi shopping fan, but Sometimes I hear they have good deals and I know that their olive oil is a good deal. So I have my list of things that I want to get because today I will be doing oh, a whole lot of different uh, shopping hauls at different stores to stock up on my three to six month food pantry. If you don't know, that is what I'm doing. Um, when I started my journey on YouTube, I started doing mukbangs and so um me and my husband we have always talked about you know the what if what if this happens what should we do what is our plan and my husband you know he was military so you know we have stocked up on a lot of things and so i'll leave it at that and also he's now a truck driver and so he travels the country he sees he started seeing stuff y'all over a year ago he was saying we have to start getting more uh things because certain areas that my husband drives through the farmers were not growing uh the crops that they normally would grow at that time they just didn't have uh, maybe the seeds i don't know but as you know it was a seed shortage um because i started gardening this year it didn't turn out great so my other plan is to stock my pantry. So stocking your pantry helps you feed your family. I don't recommend stocking your pantry with things that you don't eat. I recommend you stocking your pantry with things you know you will eat. So my pantry is a working pantry and it's also a storage pantry. I also have another room that I intend to put things in. I don't want to do too much where I'm at because we will be moving in February back well, not back, but to North Carolina, hopefully. Right now we are in South Carolina. So I'm about to go into this Aldi's because I'm running my mouth and let's get this food haul started. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I have. I'll show you the rest once I uh, get home. But I bought one, two, three, four, six of these right here, strawberries, because I plan to uh, make my own strawberry preserve. This was not on the food pantry list, but hey, at all these, they had these, they look like bath and body work candles, smells good. This huge candle was $3.99. Okay, so I just left all these. I just loaded my things back there and I got a full buggy of stuff. That was a good deal. I tried to go in with the mine process of buy two if i'm getting something by two of that item so that's what i'm gonna start trying to do when i do my bulk shopping is to buy two of everything that i'm getting um only the things that our family is eating of course and so i will show you all of these things laid out on the table and go over how much they cost in just a few I have a few more errands to run, but once I get home, I'm gonna finish this video up. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, y'all, this is the Aldi's haul. Aldi's had a limit on their canned goods. Um, everything you see here, I paid $99 for, I believe. Okay, so I have four of the sweet corn, four of the mixed vegetables. Um, two of the cinnamon applesauce. I tried to get two of everything if I could. Um, I have the green beans right here that I'm gonna freeze. And then I have some 
nice little butter cookies because I have to have those. And then they had these prunes on sale and I love me some prunes. I also got some Granny Smith apples, um, strawberries, and I'm going to make a strawberry jelly or jam. And then I have the icing to go with the cake mix. Then over here, we have the sardines. I used to eat those growing up, the mustard kind. And then we have the ramen noodles. I got two packs for $2. It has like 12 in it. And then two of the vanilla pudding that you can put into your cake mix. I also have three of the um, ginger ale because you never know if someone, you know, gets sick. Oh, God forbid. Um, their stomach is kind of jacked. <laughs> you can use that ginger ale. And I also have over here saltines to go with it. So moving on, condiments. We have ketchup. Um, that should do us pretty good. Also mustard. We don't use a lot of mustard, so I don't have to buy any more mustard. And then I bought some more pickles because one, my son uses the juice when he's cramping. It helps with his cramps when he plays football. And then I have extra virgin olive oil down there. Well, I got two of those. They're, they're cheap in Aldi's. And so I have black pepper, two of those, and some parsley, some onion powder, some salt, Italian dressing, and then over here, the cooking oil, I got two cans of that. And they had yeast because I remember my mother-in-law asking, did I have yeast? Because she couldn't find any back in March when everything had closed up. So I have two of those. And also some flour here, some grapes. Um, I got a big thing of distilled white vinegar, even though I have some smaller ones in my cabinet. This one will be in my storage for the um, food pantry. This is a working pantry. This is not just all storage. So we will be eating as we go, but we're trying to stock up and have at least a three month supply. And then we have the Gatorade um, zeros right there because it's less sugar. And then back there, just some little snacks, some cheeses. These are like a dollar and something at Aldi's and then some club crackers over there. And I also found this nice candle right here. It's like a bed, bath and beyond candle and it smells so good. And it was only $3, I believe, for that big candle that would probably cost you more in Bed Bath & Beyond. So this is my Aldi's haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I have to get my pantry straight so that I can put these things away. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs it up. If you didn't, then thumbs it down. Please comment down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments because they come in either way. <laughs> they come in either way. And so, yeah, that's my water bath canner that's sitting over there. But yeah, um, that's it. So thank y'all for joining me here on Tommy Bites TV. Until next time, peace, love, and light. Thank you for joining Tommy Bites.